Season's greetings and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody, to all my fans here at Lazy Universe. This is part two of my uh, Christmas episode. If you want to see part one to this, I will link it at the end of this video here. Um, you know, at the very end of it, you'll see a video card that will pop up and take you to that. So if you missed part one, and if you want to see it, you can go back and watch it. If you're just interested in part two and part three, then welcome. So anyway, part two, I'm going to be blazing through the DVD to mine. Holy crap, there is a huge pile of them, so... Let's just try and go with the four, you know. So up next, I don't know, as some of you guys have to tell me if you guys want to see me review it or not in the comment section, like, ask me. It's specifically, don't just say, that one, you know, just specifically tell me, like, what you say, for example, like, if I had Jim Carrey's a mask. Ask me, like, you know, review Jim Carrey some ass. Just don't say review Jim Carrey movie because if I had a stack in them, I'd be like, which one? So, up first, here we have Young Justice. Uh, this is only part one of season one. So, uh, I do like Young Justice, and you know, I am a fan of the Young Justice stuff. Uh, basically, the reason why I got it was because I'm a fan of Young Justice. I haven't seen this series in so long, so I actually picked it up and I'm like, you know, I'm going to do it. Uh, I had some of, you know, the episodes on it, like Independence Day, the first episode, Fireworks, uh, Welcome to Happy Harbor, and Drop Zone. So, you know, it's a very interesting series. I actually like this series when I first aired. This next movie is one I've been wanting to see ever since I saw the trailer for it. And I'm going to watch this, and I'm, I, I'm going to tell you this right now. I am going to review this, because I can guarantee you I really want to hear my opinions on this. Battle Angel Alita. No, I've never read the manga. I've seen pictures of her, I've seen reviews of her, and I've heard that the anime that she's based on and the manga both are really, really damn good. So I am going to um, check out Battle Angel Alita sometime, you know, today, uh, sometime over the weekend. It depends, you know. I really don't spoil it for me, just tell me, you know, if you know, because I've seen Ghost in the Shell, just tell me if I'm going to like it or not. Don't spoil anything for me, please. I really don't want it to be spoiled. Up next, I have Spider-Man Far From Home. If you guys want me to review this one, let me know. Um, I've seen Spider-Man Homecoming. I have, I got in Spider-Man Homecoming for Christmas last year, and this year I got Spider-Man Far From Home. I really wanted to see this movie when it came out. Sadly, I could not get the chance to see it. And for us having, um... Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Donnie Darko play uh, Mysterio. I'm actually pretty interested to see how he does. Also, Jake Gyllenhaal is from October Sky. I've never seen October Sky. This next one, you might not believe to be real. But it is. I am going to review it. And you guys are going to laugh at this. There is an old GameCube and PlayStation game that goes by the name of Beautiful Joe, which had a very unique art style, very unique gameplay, and it was basically made by the same people who worked on Okami. Well... There's an anime based on Beautiful Joe. I'm not kidding. I saw this at a, um at an FYE and a clearance rack and I showed it to my sister and I said this is this is it this is it also has a hollow foil I know you can't really see it but it goes from Joe or whatever his name is yeah Joe to um beautiful Joe it only had three episodes but I mean I'm gonna you know check it out and see how it is whether I like it or not it'd be all for opinion you know but I've never heard of it. I've seen Beautiful Joe before. I've, I know who he is. I've seen pictures of him. But, yeah. He's, this next one is Godzilla 2000. I'm probably not going to review it because it's just Godzilla. Uh, next up, I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Rise of the Turtles, and Enter the Shredder. This is the 2014 series. If you are a uh, 2012 2012-2013 series, my bad. So, if you guys are actually interested to see me talk about the very first season of the Turtles, I am not against that. Um, just give me time to actually watch all these episodes, like binge watch them. 
and uh, actually check them out and then at some point I will probably review them uh, so you know this one I'm definitely going to review and I am thankful my older sister got these for me because I'm so interested to see how this series takes a hold of one of my favorite superhero teams of all time and that is the Titans uh, I've heard of this series and I've heard a lot of people say wait well, judge it for what it is but I've also heard people credit it for what it is because it's so different it is, and it's not what you think it is it takes like an edgy tone to the Teen Titans I've heard so I'm actually pretty interested to see how this goes. This is the first 13 episodes. And I'm pretty interested. A lot of people said that the actor who plays Beast Boy is very good. Um, but granted, the only thing I don't like about him, just by so far from what I've seen, he's not green-skinned. He only has green hair. And he's, according to his uh, skin, to his condition, he's supposed to have green skin and a green body. I know that you probably don't want to paint the dude, but... I'm just saying. Also, Starfire is black, uh, African American. I want to see how that plays out in a series. I just want to see, because I'm actually pretty interested in that. We have I Am Legend, classic movie. Love Will Smith as an actor. He's a great actor. Next up, we have the 2011 Thundercats. If you're interested to hear my opinions on the 2011 Thundercats, all you have to do is tell me. I'm actually interested to see how they went with it. I skipped over it because I'm a fanboy of the 80s series. Uh, I used to watch reruns of the 80s series back when I was a kid, so I'm actually interested. Oh crap. I'm actually interested to see how they go with it. Okay. One last one, and I know that a lot of people are going to say, please review this. I can already hear, hear you typing in the comments right now and going, please review this. Yes, I have Stranger Things Season 1. My little sister who watched the series said this is a great series to watch. She said it is a unique series. And she said I probably would definitely like it. I'm interested to see where it goes. So, don't, if you've seen this series, please don't spoil anything for me. I really want to go in with a fresh mind, not knowing anything, and be surprised by what happens. Each of these are just going to be watched on their own time. I'm just going to make time to do them and everything. But, yeah. Stranger Things. It even comes with a poster. I might take, uh, even the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had the poster inside. I might find room at some point and hang up my, um, the other posters somewhere in this room. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this part two. That was all the DVDs. The finale is just going to be miscellaneous items, um, which I think you guys will probably like the miscellaneous items. And then probably afterward, I'm going to do an after Christmas haul. If you guys would like to see the after Christmas haul, I mean, when everything I get, you know, is here, uh, because when I order it online, just let me know and I will wait and hold everything off and then do a video on that. If you guys aren't interested in that, then no worries about it. Um, so the last thing is going to be just miscellaneous items. So I'm going to get that all set and prepared, and then we're going to upload that later on today. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, be sure to follow me at Twitter with the link in the description below. Click the bell icon in case you like it. Yeah, what was the favorite movie that you saw of part two? Yeah, I'm very interested to hear your feedback. Let me know in the comment section below. My favorite one I've gotten is Battle Angel Alita. I'm very interested to see how that movie plays out. Second is Stranger Things. I've heard so many good things about the series. Um, not too spoiler why you two people saying that, like, it's amazing. So, I'm going to go through that. And next up is the other stuff that I have here for you guys. So, yeah. One of these things I'm going to say, I'm not going to do an opening on camera of. I'm just going to do it, maybe make a video talking about it as a, as a whole. But, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, check out part 1 if you're interested in it, part 3 is coming up later, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to get started to work on part 3 right now, so thank you for watching, have a safe day, I know it's after the holiday, so if you're traveling home, uh, travel safe, if you're not traveling home, and if you, you're, you know, like, still partying or whatnot, please party safely, and drink responsibly, and all that other good stuff, so I'll see you guys for part 3. <laughs>